Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, we'll be continuing on where we left off from last time uh, with a little uh, time skip. I did uh, just go and take some uh, two service parts uh, so to complement the wood planks when we'll be carrying down the quarry. Uh, the wood planks will be for the Smithfield Bridge. Uh, the service parts will be for the quarry, and for the quest for the quarry, you also need one uh, concrete slab, which we'll be taking from the warehouse here. So hopefully, we'll be selling the trailer at the trailer store, and it'll all be good and fine. Now, we also have this trailer. I mentioned it in the last episode. Uh, it was a pain to get it here. I'm kind of sad. Uh, I didn't have it running, uh, recording. I was just gonna go like, oh, it's like a five-minute thing. I'm not gonna bother making an episode on it, but that truck that trailer getting it here with the one uh, vehicle part if you guys remember which we have to deliver to some uh, old dude out in the woods uh, that was like like 50 minutes cars getting flipped over my pace star got flipped over so yeah that was fun to get out of uh, black river in any way shape or form uh, it's a beautiful day out there and we will just be taking this slowly, easily. We don't want to lose any cargo. We don't want to get any other truck out here. Let's just make it a successful haul without too many incidents, which we've been having quite a fair bit lately. And have a smooth run at it. Double check, we should be heading south, and then we have to cross the river itself. Hmm. I'm, I'm a bit worried about the section here, but hopefully we'll have enough traction to just uh, get through the mud. We will not be doing anything weird, like trying to go through the field or something. That was a mistake last time, and I'm hoping not to repeat the same mistake. Actually, given how much uh, load we have right now. So let's take it easy. Let's actually go with the same uh, marks, so we don't have any wobbling side to side on the truck. Let's go over the speed a bit, we don't need to be going that fast. to deliver this, uh, but the quarry itself has been relatively uh, annoying last time. It took us uh, quite a fair bit of time to get uh, at the bottom there to deliver what we had to deliver. So, uh, let's be careful. Not that we should have that much patience because we do have... Ooh, easy there, easy there. Easy there, truck. Uh, because we do have a trailer store here, so we can actually fuel and repair there if we really, really want to. I'm just, I'm just doing a quick check. Uh, yeah, we have threatening accident activated, so we don't need to pick this uh, quest up. Uh, let's be careful with the dam section here because I uh, read a few things online and apparently uh, it can bug. The road itself can bug. I've noticed that there's a bit of an issue with uh, bind. Easy, see, you can see look through the road here you actually see the ground under it because it's not perfectly modeled to the actual dam itself the road so i'm guessing there's more of those kinds of issues but as long as i'm literally not falling with my entire truck and cargo straight down into the uh, river you know what i'm good I now see the folly of my problem. Um, yeah, we can totally give the um, 
the wooden, wooden planks here. Cargo management, deliver. To get this bridge done. Great job. Look at that. Nice bridge. Thanks a lot. Okay. That's a few XP and some cash. However, the problem we now have is that the two loads we need to take down to the quarry are... Um, let's actually say that as a tracked quest. Which one was it? I think it was one of the Dyson Diesel. How would it be old? No, it wasn't this. Uh, which one was it? Skip forwarding. Work fold sweat. Yeah, there we go. We put the quarry, concrete slab, and do service parts. The problem is... I was hoping to deliver the two wooden planks on the same um, on, on my truck, so I don't have to uh, take the uh, trailer itself down here. That's annoying. It's really, really annoying. So do I? Man, if I would have known, I would have just done this uh, in the interim, and I just my mind just uh, went off. Okay, so um, shall we do this, and then hmm. this warehouse doesn't have service parts, right? I don't think so. No. And there's no trailer that comes with a crane. That'd be nice, but there isn't. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. We're delivering two half loads down that horrible quarry path. Oh, wow. That's not gonna be fun. Actually, let's take a look at it. Let's uh, see what's the better option here. You only have two actual, actually no, three rows, right? So there's one road, two road, and that's about it, right? So the best way to deliver this here, again, let's mark it down. Why wasn't it tracked? There we go. Hmm. So yeah, the best option I mean, there's, there's no good option. There is no good option here, that is it? Actually, yeah, we can... We can... Go via this longer route up here, right? Correct. And that will actually... Uh, yeah, okay, do this. I can't afford any shortcuts. And do that. And I st I'm still having gonna have some issues here, and I'm still gonna have some issues with uh, the rocks. Oh well, it's gonna be painful, but it is what it is. And I'm really so glad we got this bridge here solved, so we don't have to cross that. A little bit of forethought, and this could have been so much better. Actually, what is this road? Oh, random detour. But I had this little tingling in the back of my head when I first loaded. Uh, yeah, when we, <laughs> after we flipped over uh, and we had to reload the cargo, and I just reloaded it, whatever, because the, I was using a crane on on the pay star. It was a whole mess. Just. Just watch the last episode if you want to go into detail on it. But in any way, shape, or form, this is what we were left off with. Okay, so let's do low range gear, all wheel drive, differential lock, all that good stuff. Let's take this easy, chill. Quite catastrophic if we were to flip here or uh, or just.
first line of the entire trailer. That would be pretty bad because then we have to actually sort the trailer as well. I'm hoping to actually take the trailer back and sell it, but we'll see. Okay, our, my path would have taken me down there, right? Is that better? Worse? The problem is you have these very horribly tight pin turns here, which don't help at all. Let me check, can you... No, it doesn't help. I think maybe I'm, I'm coming down this way if I turn it around and go down a little. It'd be better, but I don't think so, because I still have to turn at the bottom. And the twigs here being entirely horrible as they usually are. Okay, doesn't matter. We'll just go via the long route. some auto for this little section here because it doesn't seem too dangerous. That's what, what they always say before something horrible happens. <laughs> but no, let's switch. Uh, all that left-right wobbling is not something I want. So yeah, ideally I would just have to go on the other side as well, just take this very long scenic detour route because I cannot, especially not with uh, this trailer in good conscience, uh, take that left up ahead. That's pretty nasty uh, drop in terrain. Also, I am now completely sold on sideboard trailers compared to flatboard. Uh, why? Simple. If I tip over, the flatboard side, whatever, sideboard trailers just allow me to um, keep the truck straighter on the 90 degree angle and that we don't have any problems like uh, it going for us, I don't know, 120 degrees on the other side and have the cab itself supporting the truck. We'll have the sideboard support the truck, the actual cargo module, which will uh, help us get back up. Especially if we're going to be using the, the Chevrolet as a recovery vehicle, uh, because it doesn't have enough power in the autonomous scout, and I'm not going to uh, scout winch, so I'm not going to change the winch at all. I'm going to keep that one, which is pretty weak. And it can't really pull the trucks properly uh, if they're on the side more than a 90 degree angle. So yeah, everything from now on is not using a flatboard anymore. For the truck itself, for the uh, trailer, I have no idea, but I care quite a bit less because I have a lot more flexibility once I actually have a functioning truck. Try auto because the road is isn't all that bad. Let's uh, recap, recoup some speed here. I mean, getting out is a lot easier, but dropping down from here, ish. Well, I actually have to drop, uh, do another drop here uh, with the concrete slab from the warehouse. So we are doing this twice today. But hopefully we're going to be doing a higher speed just because we don't have to bother with the trailer. Oh, but yeah, we have to get the trailer out, don't we? Lovely. No! No, 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 no. And, you know, all of that was because of that. Of that rock there. Man, rocks and twigs are hard. Okay, let's be safe. Damn. I hate this quarry. Okay, cargo management, deliver, perfect. Now, I want to get this out. Can I muscle it out? Can I just muscle it out through that? You know what? I'll, I'll try. I'll just give it a shot. There's not much bad that can happen. Let's muscle it out if we can. Save 
need some time here. Yeah, that uh, switch to the third gear was extremely optimistic. Let's give this a shot. Let's see if we can entirely make a quick work of this. Oh, easy there. Bouncy trailer. Commercial lock. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Just make contact with the wheels. Perfect. Ugh. But I doubt that this might have been... Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Wow. Congratulations, Fleet Star. You still have it. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Honestly, this might have worked as a uh, path to get it down as well. It's not that bad. Huh. Interesting. But for sure, when I'm returning with the concrete slab, I'm gonna go via this path now. Because I will not be having a trailer. Either way, this was fantastic. This was utterly fantastic. Switch to auto so it can be easy there. Okay, just a tiny bit. Let's get ourselves straight. Brake. And let's get out of here. Let's take it easy because we are still not out. And that is a danger of dipping. So let's stick to the left side here as flat as we can. Thick. Let's make sure we don't drop the trailer in the in the quarry. That would actually pull us down. <sighs> wow. I mean, respect to the fleet star. point uh, we're going back to, to the warehouse uh, actually we're going to the trailer store first and selling the trailer and then going to the warehouse grabbing a concrete slab which is a two slot so that will fill up the entirety of the sideboard uh, bed is flat flat bed not flat board i'm sorry if you twitched every time you heard that anyways uh sideboard trailer out while we're here let's do fuel carrier it's horrible but it is what it is refuel let's refuel that and let's sell this and cool let's pick up that cargo speed run of this cargo management bricks concrete slab offload exit quit go 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 <laughs> okay. i kind of hope that they're going to be using these concrete slabs to actually improve their location and access to their location although to be fair you know what uh, i'm worried well not worried but interested about there are um, like this quest here uh where was it let's keep forwarding yeah, it says access to location. I don't really know what that means. Is that like uh, making the access easier? Is that unlocking the next map? I, I'm, I'm really confused as to what access to location actually means. But honestly, I'm just hoping it's uh, an improvement in their location to make it more accessible. 
there are like two, uh, like a large load of two containers down there, which I'm pretty sure at some point in the future we will be having to drag out that uh, quarry. And it seems kind of hard to do it right now. I mean, I, I don't think we have enough room there to do that. load will keep us heavy enough so we don't dip, dip. Oh, my life is pain okay then wow it's entirely terrible and I I kind of think no and we, we did use the winch before on a two slot right Oh, 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 okay, we have... We still have the engine, thankfully. But that doesn't help us one bit, does it? Uh, actually, I wonder, can I? No, <laughs> I was uh, wondering whether I can just grab that. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Just another reason why uh, you should probably ha always have a winch, sorry, a crane on your truck. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, you know what, guys? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring down here a truck uh, that can solve this mess, something with a, with a crane to fix this. Uh, but I'm not gonna put you guys through another 10 minutes of me uselessly running around here. So let's take a tiny break and I'll be right back with the truck. Okay, we're back guys. Uh, I know I left you guys with uh, hoping that we'll be solving that and we'll be solving that. But... Um, Using this uh, trailer we just brought here, if we're going to be making a, uh, a trip uh, down here with the secondary truck, uh, let's not do it uh, while empty. So what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, take this vehicle parts here we have that we brought from the other map on uh, this uh, trailer. And we have well, 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 which implies delivering one spare vehicle parts to some dude called Bill's house and we'll be doing that quickly and hopefully we'll have just enough time to uh, also solve this but I'm taking guys around for the ride uh, let's we do have to take it from the other truck from the other hmm. from the other trailer though I think this is it, right? Vehicle parts. It says on it, vehicle spare parts. Yeah, there we go. Let's attach it. Did it attach the right thing? Um, okay. Is the anchor? Drop, drop, drop. You know, nothing is really going my way, is it? <laughs> It's a good thing I, that I don't really care uh, about any of the other cargo on this, I just care about this. And let's drop this. Okay, V, park back cargo, store crane. Uh, and uh, we'll just uh, leave this mess to deal with. Uh, Another another time. There's nothing really important here. <laughs> Oops. Again, I, I swear. I, I thought you know sometimes uh, the attachment point is under the um, under the box, not you know on top of the box or something. 
so I thought that was the issue, but apparently no. He was, it was actually attaching to the horrible uh, uh, trailer itself. So like, you know, it flashed, you know, the object which you just grappled would flash or something. But I guess that's just not in the cards right now. Anyways, let's uh, head up to Bill, Bill's house and deliver this uh, vehicle part. It's a good thing I actually am taking the pace off for this. Because I know the, uh, that this road is pretty bad. I really hope we don't dip in this because at this point that would just be frustrating. I don't like how this is going. So let's take it a bit to the hmm. Oh, the engine is actually stalled. Today is just not my day, is it? Today is just not my day. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hmm. So, what are we doing here, guys? What? I mean... Are we just bringing the scout down here? I mean, we don't really need the, the fleet star. We can bring the fleet star here to winch this. Probably be a smarter option. We don't really need the fleet star um, itself. We left it at, at the drill site. So we don't really need the fleet star there because uh, we will be coming with another truck to actually pick it up. Uh, well, uh, we can actually come back through here, should be a shorter route than uh, going around back to the garage. But yeah, this is just not my day, is it? I don't know, did, did I? Did I start having more truck flipping since the patch? I don't remember having this much issues. This many issues, sorry. In any way, she perform. This is getting way too convoluted for this point. But we'll be powering through. I mean, it's not entirely terrible. But it does bring you uh, new breath to the idea that I should probably do this, uh, do these uh, with like two trucks at the same time, just to make sure that you know I don't end up uh, flipped over with zero chance of recovering. I, I knew, I knew I was gonna flip over. I 
all I need to do is stop for a second, winch to the left side, just so I have like a safety winch, and carry on, because the auto winch winched to the right side, and that was not what I wanted. Given how uh, complicated, I guess, uh, these, uh, or and how often these rescues are ending up being moving forward, uh, I think it's fine if we uh, take a bit more time for each episode. Uh, I've been trying to cut off at about 30 minutes, plus or minus, but I think it's uh, smart and wise at this point to do it do them like 45 minutes, something like that. We will uh, keep them short if we can, shorter if we can, but I don't want to leave you guys uh, hanging at the end of each episode, you know? I actually want to have enough content and self-containing content that you actually get an, an episode, not uh, just a slice, just like a half an hour slice of me playing the game. Narrative is important, right? Storytelling. We need to have a storyboard for this thing. We need to have drama. We need to have bad guys. But that's okay because uh, the good guys and the bad guys is the same guy. That's me. <laughs> the greatest enemy has always been myself. Now, again, let's be careful, I always say that, but I always end up tipped over. I don't have any problems actually hauling this, winching it, I mean, this is a high strength winch, it's not the same wimpy winch as the autonomous winch on the... Okay, that's enough on the Chevrolet. Now, let's pull that side. Go. Oh, actually, let's pull it a bit more. I mean, I can totally see now why I had a, I had a problem there. Okay, let's uh, release the winch. Let's switch over to the pay star. Let's get in a decent position so we don't have any of those problems again. Plus. Should be stable enough for the crane. Okay, so that's not too far. Great anchor, crane mode. I should probably flip it over because it's upwards. That I was mentioning there earlier. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this uh, gravity okay that should be good enough perfect going before all of this I was delivering some people parts to some dude okay well at the very least we now have a separate truck here which can totally recover us flip us over if we flip over ourselves but I don't want to make a habit of it have a look through the vehicles we have available, uh, especially after this quest, after age level 9. It's possible we may have some new vehicles available, which would be nice. Get something stronger. Oh wow, this is tight. Uh, okay, come on. Just mix 
make some contact with the wheels there. Differential lock, so we can make sure we have some decent ground traction. Now let's make sure this is a bit tilted. is very easily, very calm. I'm sure the line is what we want from this. Okay, this is not what I want. So uh, let's attach the rear of the truck to something high up so we can straighten ourselves up while we move forward. Oh wow, my parking brake was on. <laughs> Let's not make any of those mistakes in the future, shall we? Also, wow, this is a terrible, terrible route. Oh wow, um, no, we are not going that way, that's bad. Um, let's do this, let's actually uh, head down if we can. Like this, I don't like this one bit. Ooh. Let's keep those wheels on the on the side of those rocks. And let's head straight down. A bit too much down. And that's the cargo. And that's me flipping over. Oh. Gods. Right, okay. Uh, it's a good thing we have the other truck close by so we can actually recover this. Well, I mean, honestly, that road was a total red herring. That's unpracticable. For sure, I mean, I would have wanted to actually go via this route. It's Even if it's more wooded, at the very least, I'm sure it's straight ground. I can put under my truck and not worry that it will tip me over. Yeah, for sure, that road is definitely a red herring. Ooh. Oh wow, actually that's a lot higher up. Ooh. Okay, fun times. Let's take it easy. Okay, no. Something is bad here. Something is terribly, terribly bad here. Of course, tiny rocks. Our mortal enemy. we're in some terrible, terrible mud because who put the mud here? Let's see if we can manage this again without tilting horribly. actually steered into the um, into the hole so we don't suffer any problems okay, let's switch back to auto so we can reverse to get around this tree low the differential lock please but the problem is I'm getting stuck on some rock skin but thankfully I got out 
we're getting ever so closer to where we were before. So yeah, this was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have to do that, right? Yeah, we have to do that. I don't particularly trust... Oh, actually, this seems like a practicable bit of road. Is this what, where I need to go? Yeah, I think this would help. But you know what, let's just head onto the road itself. not risk it any more than we have to but honestly I think I'll have to leave you guys with uh, this episode on a cliffhanger and nope, that road is full of terrible mud so we're not doing that Getting through there, not with this bed. Yeesh. Okay, let's see if I can get through those trees. I mean, there's not a there's not a problem of uh, power here. It's just a matter of maneuverability. And access. Okay, this is working. And we are back to communal road. I have no idea how the road is here. Apparently fine enough, but let's not take a right here because we, that would put us in a very bad position to tip over here. there we go easy does it easy easy does it and there we go all good phew So where were we before all of this? Here. Okay, and this is exactly as terrible as I thought it would be. Let's do this for safe. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Man, this is such a terrible, terrible route. Wow. Okay, let's... Yeah, of course, that's out of range. And I don't think I have the ex extended range uh, winch on this yet, because I just never had the Fleet Star available to do that. Okay, what's the best way to go around this? Uh, probably I'll want this tied to that. So I can go around here and... This. Let's raise the winch. Let's uh, park brake, handbrake, parking brake. And now let's flip this over. Let's uh, use it. Try using this because it'll be a different angle. Hmm. Interesting. But there we go. That's pretty solid. Release it. Nope. That didn't help. Okay, I'll try using one of the front mounts. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's a bad, bad, bad idea. Okay, let's see if we can change the vehicle change the truck without it actually hit uh, 
Dodge. Oh, is the is the engine still on? No, it's not. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, let's see if we can shimmy this through here. I'd like to change the entire angle of the winch itself so we can use the back one. Try pulling it. Try getting it straightened out. If only if that would work. Oh wow! Is it that stuck? No. Come on, it's moving. It's moving. Try change truck. Let's. Oh, God damn, this is annoying. Oh. Well, I mean, it's better than it was before, but honestly, I'm not saying much. are getting properly on the road. I don't care what you what you're saying. You're getting there. Okay? Is that is that gonna be enough? If I change truck, enter parking brake. There we go, there we go. Okay, all good, all good, all great, it's fantastic. Oh there's a huge tree under me. That's why I couldn't. Okay, that's great. Okay, I'm tied. All's good. I'm winched up. Great. Man, that tree, that dead tree is making a mess of me. And we still have to take the cargo from here. I mean, it's not us gonna be done. No! Damn. Okay. Luckily. That worked. Should be enough just to get us straightened out. Oh god. No. No, do the other thing. And the engine installed. Okay. V. You know what, guys? This is getting way long. So let's take a break here uh, for sure. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of this in the next episode. And... Hopefully gonna deliver that cargo next episode and hopefully gonna deliver the slab to the quarry next episode. Uh, again, I hope you guys had a lot of fun seeing me. Well, <laughs> have fun myself. Uh, this was me, if you like this episode, you know, usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully with more luck than we've had so far.